I think we were consistent in many, many last four years. Even last season was not bad. Uh, what I say, so it's nice, but uh, it's next game. So um, we, I think we are not thinking about when it's happened. It's nice, okay, with another game, another record. But here we are here to try to win the titles. The people demand this. And uh, for this, we have to try to win next game. I'm obviously not expecting you to sit back with a glass of wine now and kind of enjoy what you've achieved so far, middle of the season. But you, do you ever take that time? For example, looking at the 100-point season, did you ever, you and your coaching staff, or your friends, sit down and enjoy the records? Because you did set so many in that campaign. No, we don't have time. We don't have time. There are many games, so... Every three days game and game, so have to rest and think another one. So the day of the game, so all the managers, all the teams, you know, when you win, you are happy that moment, that night, but the day after you have to think the next one. So when you lose, you are more sad and next the day after think the next one. So this is what we have to do. And after the last game, David Moyes said that your team's probably the best in Europe right now. And when you consider the strength of the league and what you are doing at the moment, it's hard to argue with that. But do you think your players deserve that tag at the moment? The best team in Europe in the world is Bayern Munich because we won everything. They are the best. So they are, it's like in England, the champion is Liverpool. They are the best. <laughs> so the crown, if you want to take it, you have to win. And... Uh, Already March, nobody's champion. So we have to, it's not just deserved, we have to do well and uh, and try to win it. But we had not denied. So the last two months, two months and a half were exceptional in terms of results. When we play really well, we won comfortably. When we didn't play good, like for example, last day, because last game, because West Ham was exceptional. So we were able to, to take the points. So in a, in a space for 20 games in a row winning, you don't have all the time exceptional games, most of the time, yeah, but not all the time. And important in that game to be solid and try to get the, the point. Thank you, Ben. Next we go to <coughs> Emma Saunders. Hi, Emma. Hi, Pep. Um, you said post-match after West Ham that after 10, 15 minutes in that game, you realised you weren't going to paint anything beautiful do you sense the same against Wolves? You know, you may have to grind out another result there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the history against them uh, dictate or show us uh, really how tough have been is and tomorrow will be. So we, we know it perfectly. So a time to be, to know exactly the type of game we have to play and uh, and to be so intense, uh, but in the same times calm, because they play with your ambition, impatient um, to to punish you. So they have to be so clever the way you have to play, because the last years always was so tough for the quality, for the structure they have, for the quality the players they have, and this year will not be an exception. The 3-1 victory you had at Molyneux in your first match of the season, when you look at your side, do you see a big difference in them now? How far do you think they've come this season? Both teams are different, so they will play, I think, differently. Really different because we play our first official and friendly game in that season, so we didn't play one game before. We play, I think, a good first half and 10, 15 minutes the second, and the last 30 minutes they were better than us. So, but it was an incredible result for us. All the way, and especially the first game, when we, are, we were far, far away for our best tone and rhythm and everything, like all the teams, of course. And, uh, and yeah, it was a good victory for us, but it was, it was a long, long time ago. Thank you, Emma. Uh, next we go to Ian Abrahams. Hi Pat, how are you? Good, thanks. And you? Um, you're always so humble at press conferences, both before and after games when you won. But you are bearing down now on this world record. Do you yourself realise the magnitude of what your team are achieving this season? 
uh, Ian, we've been incredible, incredible, incredible question, incredible, yeah. In question will be a nice answer at the end of the season. So uh, I said uh, before with, uh, with Ben, so <laughs> we are the light, what we have done so far. So we cannot deny it. So if no team had done before, so it means how difficult it is. So we are so happy. Yeah, we cannot deny it. But at the end, what counts in the world is, is if you leave the trophies or not. We are in one final, we are in good position in the Premier League, we are in quarterfinals for the FA Cup, we are in the first leg still for around the last 16 in the in Champions League. So we are in all contention, that is good. But still, so we cannot uh, sit down on the sofa and, and say, oh, how good is everything. So a lot, a lot of work, a lot of job to do. And I have signals that are still we can improve. And on the next three or four or five games in which you could break this world record, are they going to be the hardest? Because now every team wants to beat you and stop you getting this record. Every team wants to be the one that is the first to beat Man City. Like West Ham were the first to score at the Etihad since, I don't know, October or November on Saturday. Yeah, but we want to beat them too. So they want to beat us, of course, but we want to beat them too. So we want to want to stop. So tomorrow we we'll try to, you know how important is this 10 days, this week, these eight days <coughs> with Wolves United and, uh, and Southampton before travel to Fulham, these three days at home. So we are able to do what uh, we want to do. We will make an incredible step, absolutely. So I want to keep the, I want to see the team still focusing and uh, still focus and, 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 and focus on the job, what you have to do. So I said many times lately. So we have two times, two two ways of view what we are, ha what is happening is, what we see what uh, what uh, we have done, and just reflect on that on uh, on keep doing things. So get to take uh, three more points through our game, not just see what we have done so far. So and tomorrow is an, uh, a new example. Thank you, Ian. Next we have Simon Stone, BBC. Hiya, Pep. Um, it's been one of those weeks where you've won, Leicester lost, Manchester United drew. How do you tell your players that this job is not done? How do you tell them? I know you have this drive, but how do you make sure they have? See, 36 points to play, and there are a lot of points. And just see in Europe, in England, like every team can lose and lose and lose in a row in one week and drop points in one week and everything will be the same. So a team will have to play good, play well, run a lot without the ball to take the points we need to be at the end, close, close, close to, to be champion. So... We have to do many, many things still, and a tough, tough opponent. So more an example, United, of course. So Sampton and Fulham, they are playing incredible well in this period, and Leeds at home, and uh, you know, many, many games. So when you have still 10 points left, or 12 points left, or 15 is another issue. But with 36, many points, many. How do you make sure your players are listening, though? For the way they run without the ball, yeah. If done, we will have to sit all together again and put them in the same track. Uh, and still, yeah. So I, I'm not <laughs> regrets about the the guys has done, but at the end it counts not the records or the you know on all the the numbers. At the end is next season we will defend the title or we'll be another team. And right now today. The champion is Liverpool. We are not. The champion is Liverpool. Like in Europe, it's Bayern Munich. And if you want to be or have this honor, you have to win it. Win it in these 36 points. This is the reality. Um, next we go to Dom Farrell. Hi, Dom. <coughs> Hello, Pep. Um, last season, you lost um, both. Frozen. Okay, 
Defrozen. Defrozen. Is not or unfrozen? Unfrozen. Andy, we'll go to you. Okay. Hi, Pep. It's uh, Andy. Um, yeah, just a, a team news question. Um, yeah, how, how is everybody after the weekend? Has everyone come through okay? And, and Sergio, particularly, how, how was he for his, his one hour's play? <coughs> Everything is fine, yeah. Except Nathan, the, other, and the rest of the players are fine. Okay, Dom's still frozen, so we'll go to Subang Chakrabarti. Hi, Pep. Uh, first of all, congratulations uh, for the incredible incredible run you guys have put uh, put in the league so my question is related to one of the city football group uh, clubs mumbai city fc from india uh, last uh, last evening they uh, they topped the indian super league and they have now qualified for the afc champions league so what is the message for you uh, for the team and uh, how important is it for the cfg city football group Incredible success. Uh, it's part of the, this family, the City Football Group. Now come to play off. Hopefully they can do it well as well. So congratulations for all people, AJ, from the manager, Lovera, and uh, all, especially the players. So yeah, big congratulations. Uh, every league has his uh, tricky. When you win, it's because it's well-deserved. 